Hi everyone, welcome back to the Village Academy, and this is it. Uh, this is the end of the course, Introduction to Programming Using Java. Before I finish, there's just one thing that I completely missed here, is the name of this class should be Exercise. So we just move here, Exercise, Multi-Arrays, uh, I think we only have one. So just Shift F6, Rename, Press Refactor, and drag and drop it here. Okay. So with this, we completely finished the, this course and uh, what you should do now. First, you know the basics. So you are already familiar with programming. You are familiar with, I would say, this, the topics that we covered will take you a very, very long way. Of course, if you take a look at like complex algorithms, you will see that you have to use the things that we learned here more in depth. But with everything, all the knowledge about conditionals, arrays, loops, uh, conditional statements, this knowledge is enough for you to get started with algorithms, like more complex algorithms. For example, if you want to change um, a given string into numbers, or for example, if you want to uh, check if a number in one specific array is not being repeated, Everything can be done with the topics that we covered here. If you finish and you are excited to learn Java, I highly advise you go to YouTube and then you can go to DevDojo Academy. Just search for DevDojo Academy and that's it. We have here our channel. This one is in Portuguese and this one is in English. Just open it and then you come here into videos or playlist. Go to playlist. Or if you don't know where to start, if you go to home, you are going to notice that we have here, this is the order that you have to follow. Basically, the next one, you are going to see this course right here. The next one will be Java 1 for All. If you see the full playlist, you are going to notice that we have a lot of content. So this is like 50 hours of content where you are going to learn in depth Java. So we don't cover Swing and we don't cover like graphics interface. This is just Java core. If you want to become a Java developer, the knowledge that this course is covering is the minimum that you need to, to know to call yourself a Java developer. So after you finish this course, just go straight to Java One for All. And even though most of the things, I would say up to video, up to video 38, it looks exactly the same. If you look at the name of the classes, it looks like exactly the same but there are way more content because the purpose of this this course introduction to programming using java is just to teach you about the programming concept but when we talk about arrays or multi-dimensional arrays we are going in depth so in this case here we are going in depth related to java so even if you take a look at what we are doing it's, it looks exactly the same but then when we go to Java, we are going to learn, for example, that there are different ways of doing the same thing. So, for example, this is something that we did not cover in the in the previous, in this course. But, for example, this is something that you are going to be using a lot when you are programming with Java. So, there is a different way to use for loops. So, I just advise you, go over one by one, even though you kind of already know a little bit about each one of the topics you are going to learn something new. Definitely, each one of the videos, you are going to learn something new. And related to Java, if you go to the beginning, we have uh, how Java works again and downloading JDK 15. You uh, have Java, uh, Java uh, JDK 17, so you do not need to downgrade. Just keep the 17. And then uh, you technically can just bypass, just looking all of this up, and then you get started, uh, for example, with... Uh, the first steps of IntelliJ or organize your coding packages because there are a little bit of new content here. But just go over it, but don't install again. Do not uh, uninstall and install. Just keep whatever you have and then you can start directly into uh, coding without changing what you have installed in your computer. So basically, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this course. I hope you, you were able to get the knowledge that I tried to pass you. And I'm pretty sure that your career, if this is the first time that you are studying or getting in contact with programming, will be great for now one. So that's it. I hope you enjoy Job One for All. See you in the next course. Bye bye.